So over the last year and a half, we've really kind of focused on driving our vehicles and getting them to drive themselves on surface streets uh, around the Bay Area. Uh, we're more confident than ever that we think this technology is going to be able to go out there and, and save a lot of lives uh, and make moving around in our cities uh, better for everyone. So one of the things we found is that once people are riding the vehicle, they, they get it, right? At first it's exciting because it's new, it's technology that you haven't seen before, uh, and you know, it, it's, it's driving itself. But after about five minutes, everyone's, you know, well, is that all it does as it's driving along? So we think it'll be, you know, it, it's uh, just incredibly common once you get used to it. So. This is a complete rethink of, of what a vehicle can be. Um, you know, this is essentially just a pod that you tell where you want to go and it goes there. Well over 90% of crashes take place because of driver error. You remove the driver from that equation and that opens up a lot of possibilities for reducing crashes, fatalities, injuries, and that kind of thing. Google's trying to push things forward as quickly as possible. And that's mainly from the perspective of both the legal, legal side of things, uh, but also they're trying to entice automakers, they're trying to entice um, engineers, they're trying to entice people and prove that this is something that can be done and should be done from a general public safety point of view.